ASMR Whittle and I hope I this evening can help make you feel calm, good and relaxed before you go to sleep this evening so today I'm going to be teaching you on a feature fairy tale a farm and he had three sons poor he was and old and his sons were not of much use but be behind his farm there lied a great vast forest and his father wanted to send his sons out and his the father wanted to send his sons out to uh, to cut wood for the fire and after a while he managed to convince them the first who went out to the forest and the trees was the oldest when he had gotten quite far into the forest and had uh, and had taken the axe and was ready to cut into the tree, a huge troll suddenly came, like out of nowhere. If you cut from my forest, I will kill you, the troll said. And when the boy heard that, he threw the axe and ran as fast as he could, and heaving for breath. He came home and told what had happened to him, but his father said to his son that he was a coward. 
never when he was young had some troll scared him from cutting the tree from cutting trees the day after the second son tried but he fared no better because when he had begun the troll came yet again if you cut off my forest i will kill you the troll said the boy didn't even dare look at the troll he threw the axe and ran just like his brother actually even faster but when he came home his father became angry and again said what no troll had scared him when he was young and when the third day the ash lad wanted to try the brought his brothers ridiculed him you they said yeah as if you were, would be able to do it, you will never even venture outside the living room door. He, the Ashlad didn't answer. Instead, he only asked to get enough food with him. And he got a fresh white cheese with him in a, in a small bag he carried with him. And when the Ashlar tried, and when he uh, axed the tree for a while, uh, the troll yet again appeared. If you cut from my forest, I will kill you, the troll said yet again. But the boy was ready. He quickly leaped onto his feet and got the cheese. And when he showed the cheese, to the troll and squeezed it so hard that the cheese literally melted. If, and when the boy said, or he screamed to the troll, if you're not quiet, I will crush you just like I'm crushing the water out of this white rock. The boy said, no, please spare me, the troll said. I will help you cut the forest. Yes, and then the boy accepted his answer. And the troll was good at cutting. So there was a lot of wood that day. And when evening approached, the troll said, No, you, no, it, it's getting late. Maybe you should come with me home. It's closer to me than to you, he said. And the boy agreed and came with him. And when we got home to the troll, the troll was planning to put light in the fireplace. While the boy were going to go for water to the to water for the for the for the oven and the porridge they were going to eat. But there were two heavy iron buckets there and they were so heavy he couldn't even lift them this isn't worth it the boys said I think I'll instead go after the water well no please the troll said I can't lose my water well it's better if you do make it's better if you ready the fireplace and then I will go for water, he said. And when the troll came back with the water, they made ready a beach, a beach portion of porridge. If you is if you want the same as I, the boy said, let's food race. Yes, the troll said enthusiastically. Because if it was something the troll could, it was to eat. It had much experience with that. And then they, and then they sat at the table. But the boy was clever. He took 
the bag in front of his stomach. And when he and when he he took from the porridge and put more porridge into the bag than in himself. And when and when the bag was the bag was full, he found a knife and and cut a hole in the bag so that the porridge ran out of the bag. The troll looked at him, but he didn't say anything. Then they had eaten for some more while. The troll put down the spoon in front of him. No, I can't eat anything more, the troll said. He was full. No, please eat, the boy said. I'm not, uh, yeah. Mm. I'm still hungry, the boy said. Just do like I do and cut, a, and cut a hole in your stomach. And then you can eat as much as you want, the boy said. But won't that hurt a lot, the troll said, and looked at him with an anxious expression. The boy said, it's nothing to speak of, the boy said, no problem at all. And the troll did it. And what was the end of the troll? The boy had tricked the troll. And the boy took with him all the gold and the silver in the cave and went home, rich enough to pay off any and all debts and live happily ever after. So, yeah, so <laughs> I thought it would be fun to read this fairy tale for you, non-Norwegian pe people. Uh, what you have to remember about Norwegian fairy tales is what they actually often have is not all of them, but some of them have these really brutal aspects or endings, like the troll, for example, cutting his own stomach open there. Yeah, there is, there is really an... But this is actually the kind of stories children in Norway grow up with, so, which is kind of fun, actually. You know, and the best part about Norwegian fairy tales is like, it's what they haven't been edited. They're still as brutal as they were uh, the day they were written. Or, yeah, the day we were made. Because in, you know, many of the fairy tales in Europe and in Europe, other places in Europe have been edited and modernized. But the Norwegian fairy tales are still actually the same they were. So we grow up with these uh, Norwegian fairy tales and, and some of the more, and even these brutal aspects of them. But when we were children, or at least when I was children, I never thought about it really. I, it just was how it was. <laughs> but yeah, but I hope you non-Norwegian people enjoyed me reading a Norwegian fairy tale and what you found this Norwegian fairy tale fun and what it could be sort of relaxing and comforting to you. Yeah, at least the boy lived happily ever after with all the gold and silver. And I'm sure his family had more than enough after that. Anyway, wasn't that more, it wasn't such a happy ending for the troll to poor troll. But anyway, uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this and I look forward to doing more ASMR videos and this was kind of fun to do. So thank you for watching and have a blessed divine night and a good relaxing day tomorrow. Thank you.